Hey everybody, one of the GMG Review. Today we're taking a look at Bot War 2 Turbo Edition from Traders Galaxy, which they kindly sent along as a complimentary review copy. Um, now, what is Bot War? Well, Bot War is an homage to the 80s, and in particular, 80s pop culture, Saturday morning cartoons and television um, that my generation grew up on and that every generation since then has kind of repackaged, reimagined, uh, and re-envisioned for TV and pop culture. Uh, everything from, like I grew up on the original Transformers movie in the 80s. Uh, of course, there's the Mark Michael Bay Transformers movies. I grew up in the original A-Team. There's the is it Michael Bay A-Team. Did you just remake everything that was in the 80s? But there was an A-Team uh, movie, you know, like maybe like six or eight years back um, that was a reimagining of that. And it's everything, everything from that generation where basically toy companies were trying to sell you stuff through the media that you consume. So... Uh, everything from like the kit Michael Knight Industries uh, car through to the uh, USS Flag aircraft carrier from G.I. Joe. If you took all of that and mashed it all together, that's what Bot War is. Bot War is a love letter to the 80s and that era's pop culture as a game. So if you wanted to have all that same stuff on the table, fighting in an imaginary 80s universe where the Cold War is still raging, um, but weird science and technology is all coalescing together, like you can even have the DeLorean from Back to the Future in this game. It's fantastic. Um, and because it's all being done with great love and respect as a parody, um, obviously it's not, it's, it, the intent here is just to try and like create its own thing um, that sort of winks at and nods to all of these various properties with a lot of love. So, um, what are you going to need to play? Or, sorry, what's the, the rest of the introduction? Well, the, um, the Earth, of course, has been invaded by various different factions. Uh, and I like that the, it even is laid out like an 80s thing. Like, the color scheme, it feels very much like the back of toy packaging from when I was a kid. Um, uh, you have various factions who are vying for it, and they all kind of side with the light of the dark. You have the democracy, which is all the North American sort of, like, nation states together with their allies. Um, you have the Atlanticans, of course, Atlantis rises again, because, you know, this is Atlantis, they're, they're going to do bad things. The King Gills, uh, he gets his hands on some bot technology and reverse engineers it and invades the, the land. Uh, the Valiants, who are the good bots that come to Earth to try and protect it uh, and seek sanctuary. The Coils, who are a snake cult, <laughs> who also have bot technology and use various evil uh, technological things to seize South America and then uh, try and invade uh, the democracy as well. The Infestors, who are the bad guy, the deceiver robots, the bad guy robots that come to try and stop the Valiants, they sometimes get sick and they start to go crazy. And the crazier they get, they start to work for this hive mind uh, of the deceiver uh, Infestor Queen. It's basically a curse where their code, when, when you die, you get downloaded. Eventually you start to degrade if you have this curse and you become one of the Infestors. The Trashers, who are a very different variation on that, they're basically valiants who've done some terrible crime and they have their code overwritten with the trasher code which means they have to try and redeem themselves uh, and they go on like a quest trying to redeem themselves they all kind of band together and they fight in melee and they're sort of like these don quixote style uh slayer cult um uh robots that that want to like make amends the beast lords ancient 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 um bots that crashed on earth and start worshiping the uh, the nature powers on earth the overlords of course interdimensional aliens that want to take over the world, and the Red Star Nations, who are the other side of the Cold War against the democracy. And they use, you know, weird genetic engineering to bring back dinosaurs, for instance, and stick guns on them, or sharks, or all kinds of monstery stuff, too. Um, so, yeah, when Overlord Gorg shows up, he kind of messes them up, and they take a, take a page from him. And then finally, the Deceivers, who are the bad bots, uh, who are on the other side of the bot war um, and will ally with various other bad guys to fight the Valiants. All right, it's a two or more player game um, and it's also a hobby. What do you need to play? Well, the rules. You need some dice. Now, it does use bespoke dice and you'll see in the Let's Play, which is coming in the next couple weeks, um, that uh, it has strike dice and shield dice. Uh, and then, of course, it also has some critical dice that you can swap in if you get a boost. Use D6s for various things, and then you use your little power cubes to track your power. A tape measure, some forces of Bot War miniatures, your stack cards for your force, and a 3x3 playing surface with terrain. Um, so, stack cards are free. You can download them off the Traders Galaxy website if you want to check them out, or like sort of build a force uh, before you go and buy some models to play with. And you've got all kinds of different things on this stack card. First is your faction. 
Uh, now in the campaign rules, there's actually rules for allying factions as well too. So if you want to mix and max, uh, match the factions if you're playing a campaign game, you can freely do so. The name of the unit, they're all unique. Uh, your point value, your strategy rating, that's like your initiative when you go in order on the table. Uh, your movement, how many inches you move. Your range attack stat, which is how many dice you roll for range attacks. Your close assault stat, or close attack stat, which is your how many dice you roll for close attacks. Your shield stat, which is how many dice you roll to block. How many damage points you can take. Your superpower, which for this one is air support. You can move three times the speed once per game for two power. And then your special rule. So he's a bully. If you have the obscure rule, he punches you extra good because he's a, he likes to fight little guys. Game's divided into three phases. You power up, you activate, and then you end. So it's a nice, simple core mechanic. You go, I go, you go. So, or sorry, um, alternate activation rather. Uh, not I go, you go. So you pick a model to activate in strategy rating in descending order. Um, and then your opponent will do the same uh, at each strategy rating band. So you start with one and you work your way up. So the faster models activate early in the turn, they have a lower strategy rating. So you can see he's mid range. He'll go at step five. And you go back and forth activating models in that range band. So first you power up. Um, every model will generate a number of power cubes. This guy generates two. And you actually have to assign them during the power up phase to all of your models on the table. So you determine who's gonna kind of like push each turn. It's a little infinity-like in that regard where guys um, have to be juiced up to do every action. And you can also spend them for things like juicing your attacks and your defense rolls um, or to use your superpowers. There's a variety of different actions you can take. Uh, you can usually only take two per turn, unless something gives you like a free action. So for instance, a jetpack, you can do an extra action each turn, but only um, to move, and it costs two energy to do. Uh, you can move, range attack, you can close attack, you can disengage, these are all your actions. Rules for building, we've, we use the building rules and holy moly, they changed the game, because you can attack the buildings themselves, and if you're on top of one, you get crushed when you fall through it, which is really neat. All the super abilities, so things like flight, armor, uh, which is air support, armored might, where you like um, charge up your abilities. Artillery support, where you can shoot without needing line of sight. Combining, to become a giant guy. Living weapons, stealth, ram attacks, which is like your transform and then jump on somebody, and then adrenaline. Rules for infantry platoons and squadrons of vehicles. And then all your special rules, tons of keywords you can play with. Uh, and mixing and matching the keywords is kind of the core way that you differentiate stuff in the game. So things like symbiote, you can be put inside something and carried around by it. Uh, if it has the host rule, transport. If it's designed to carry certain types of guys, you, you don't even have to symbiote. You can have um, uh, like uh, infantry and stuff right around in helicopters and things. Uneasy allies, where if you're in an army but you're an uneasy ally, you have your own separate energy pool that you have to go from. And then all the upgrades. So it's kind of hard to spend your last couple points sometimes in this game. You get upgrades which are all tied to your uh, faction which you can buy to spend those last few points. Advanced rules for transforming if you want for alt modes. Terrain features, so lampposts, signposts, dumpsters, parked cars you can throw, power lines you can use as a pylon or military caches, gain blast. All these things will give you extra stuff. And then scenarios, and they'll tell you if you use any of that special terrain and stuff too. And there's tons of scenarios in here, a grand total of 10 all the way through, sorry, 12 actually. No wait, even more, Four, 16, 14, 14, there you go, cleanse the city. Um, and they vary from things like urban terrain to like just straight up like fight each other and um, try and kill the most expensive model or assassinate each other and stuff. And then a nice color section. And you're good to go. Trainers Galaxy, Bot War 2 Turbo Edition. So there it is. A look at Bot War 2 um, and what you get in the core rulebook. So it's a nice, concise 66 page rulebook. The core rules themselves are nice and like um, streamlined, right? It uses a an interesting strategy rating methodology where you, when you buy the miniature, you know how fast it is, you know when it's gonna go. And that means that your force composition includes your activation order in it. And you're putting that up against your opponent's activation order during the course of the game, which I really liked and I found really interesting. It was unique and not something I'd played before. Well, that's something I played before in a skirmish game like this. I'd played it in like battleship games and when like there's big ponderous things moving across the table, but I thought it worked really well in this partic particular sort of like environment. There are an absolute ton of models to choose from already. Um, and of course there is a certain, I think, uh, whimsy and fantasticness to be able to play a game where you are sort of cherry picking some of these winks and nods at your favorite things from when you were a kid or that might've been reimagined into movies, you know, in the last like 20 years or so. Uh, so if you think about the 80s being 40 years ago now, well, 
I think about that a lot, especially as my birthday is coming up. Um, <laughs> you, uh, I think there's definitely a home for this game out there, and I think uh, Anthony's done a great job in designing something that just takes a love of source material and kind of like jams it all together to create something new. So big thanks for watching. We'll see you for more Bot War 2 Turbo Edition games, and of course, I'll link the Let's Play uh, from the previous box set, uh, which I'll update with the new one when it comes out and our playlist of all the games we've been playing uh, over the last few weeks uh, in the cards and in the video description so you can see some games happening in real time. So big thanks, and until next time, Ash, have a good day. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games already recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look to the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Gamma Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.